Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous couple of videos, we have covered that how we can read holding register data, input register data, coil status or input coil status from our Modbus TCP device in the node read. Okay. Now in this video and the next video onwards, we are going to read the data from our Modbus serial device. Okay. So in this video, we are going to read the holding register data from our Modbus serial device. And in the future videos, we are going to read one by one like input register data, coil status and input coil status from Morbus serial device in the node read. So I am going to use this open more sim software to simulate my Morbus serial device. You can see my Morbus simulator device is already running on the COM1 port with 9600 baud rate, data bits 8, parity none and the stop bit 1. Now I can use this simulator to connect with my node read and to read the data of this holding resistor. You can see the first holding resistor is simulating by its own and the last holding resistor is also simulating by its own and the second holding resistor has a value of 22. Now I want to read this data then how we can do that. Okay it's a Modbus serial device so we can go to the node read and this is the flow of our previous sections where we are reading the data of Modbus TCP device. So I'm going to create one more flow. I'm going to use the Modbus read node. Okay and uh, here we are reading the holding register so read hr hr stands for holding register and unit id is one okay the function code is three because we are reading the holding register values and starting address is zero the number of quantity we want to read is 10 the poll rate is two seconds okay and uh, yeah let me delete this one first okay Previously, we have created this node read Modbus TCP IP client to read the data from Modbus TCP device, but this is the Modbus serial device. So if you go to this TCP IP client, then it uses the IP address and the port number. But to connect with Modbus serial device, we have to use the uh, COM port, baud rate, data bits, parity and the stop bit. That functionality or that configuration is not available when you select the TCP. So what you have to do is you have to uh, add new Modbus client here. And then you have to click on this pencil. Okay. And instead of this TCP, you have to select serial expert. Okay. And it's our node read mode best serial master. Okay. And uh, yeah. And then after you have to click on this search to check the available com ports. So right now you can see this simulator is running on the com1 and the com1 and the com2 port is internally connected so whatever data is available on the com1 the same data will be available on the com2 so i'm going to select the com2 here okay and we will select the serial type rtu buffer the baud rate is 9600 as you can see here the data bits 8 stop bit 1 and the parity none that's it so this configuration is done for our modbus serial master in the node read so we can add it okay and we can use it here to read the data from Modbus serial device so that's it uh, for the configuration about Modbus read node that we are going to read the data from unit id 1 we are going to read the holding register and the starting address is 0 the quantity is 10 and the poll rate is 2 second okay so that's it we can press on done here and we can add the debug node here okay i can copy this debug nodes okay and uh, I can join it here. So this debug node will display the data in the debug window and this debug node will display the first holding register data in the node status only. Okay. And this one is also uh, show the last holding register data in the node status. Okay. So that's it. We can, you know, press control D to deploy our flow. Okay. It will uh, request at every two seconds so here you can see every two seconds we have the data okay and here also you can see every two seconds we have the data now if you want to increase or you can say to decrease the polling interval you can you know decrease it from here you can press on done you can deploy it okay and now you will read the data at every second okay and here also you will see the uh, first holding register data and the last holding register data Okay, so this is how you can use node read to read the data from any Modbus serial device. It can be your physical Modbus serial device or it can be simulated Modbus serial device. So if it is a physical Modbus serial device, then you have to use RS485 to USB converter and you have to plug that USB in your system. And then after you have to choose the COM port that which 
we have used here like com2 okay so once you plug the usb with your system you will see the available com ports here you have to verify the com port that your usb is connected to this com port and then you have to use the com port to read the data from that device okay now we are going to use the same configuration for the next three videos to read the data from Morbus serial device okay and i hope this thing is clear that how you can read Morbus serial device holding registered data in the node read if you have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me your questions and doubt in the telegram instagram whatsapp or you can also send me a comment so let's meet in the next video and in the next video we are going to read the input registered data of our Morbus serial device in the node read so stay tuned for the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you